What's up you guys, Rex here. What is the deadliest infectious disease in all of human history? Let's define what I mean by deadliest. I don't mean the highest case fatality ratio. That would be the actual mortality rate of people that get infected with the disease. I mean the literal number of what disease has taken the most human lives all together in all of human history. If I had the magic genie lamp and could get rid of one microbe that would save the most human lives, what would it be? So I learned about what it is this past week in medical school, and I'm sharing it with you today because it's kind of embarrassing that I didn't know this off the top of my head. So see if you can think of it. I'll go from number seven to number one. What are the seven diseases that have killed the most people in all of human history? Number seven is HIV. Number six is cholera. Number five is influenza. Number four is the bubonic plague. Number three is malaria, which probably would have been my guess. Number two is smallpox, which is second place and is completely eradicated. And number one is tuberculosis. And by a wide margin, tuberculosis has killed over 1 billion people in just the last 200 years. And tuberculosis is something that has been around at least since like 4000 BC, if not longer. And it continues to kill a regrettable huge number of people every year. Current estimates say that in like 2019, 1.4 million people died from tuberculosis. So that gap between number one and number two, smallpox, which has been eradicated, is continuing to grow. And even number three, malaria, killed about 409,000 people like less than a third of what tuberculosis kills each year as of 2019. And so that gap between number one and number two and number three is continuing to rise. And living in America in a very developed country, we don't think about tuberculosis that much. I had to get a TB test as part of medical school and maybe you've gotten a TB test as well and sort of thought like, ah, tuberculosis, is that even a thing? Well, guess what? This is not just the number one killer of humans in all of history. In many years, with the exception of years like this, regrettably, where we have SARS-CoV-2, which has killed millions of people, regrettably, and counting still, but with 1.4 million people killed on average per year, tuberculosis in most years is the number one cause of death by a single agent that causes communicable disease, still to this day. So it's just embarrassing to me that it took me getting a medical degree to even like put tuberculosis on my map as something that is still a huge public health issue. And I just wanted you to be aware of that so you're less ignorant than I was last week. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, I'd love to hear about them down below. I'll read and respond to every single comment. If you want to catch more of my videos where I share cool things I've learned in medical school, make sure you subscribe to the notification bell. As always, like the video if you like the video, dislike the video if you dislike the video. And until next time, don't be ordinary, go be great. Mm -hmm.